क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन से इज दैट बी इज अ वेक्टर हैविंग मैग्नीट्यूड फाइव यूनिट डायरेक्टेड अलॉन्ग ईस्ट द वेक्टर एट बी वेक्टर नॉट यू स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई अ वेक्टर बी वेक्टर बाय एट व्हिच इज अ पॉजिटिव नंबर देन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस वेक्टर वुड बी एट टाइम्स द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी वेक्टर व्हिच मींस सिंस द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी वेक्टर हैज बीन गिवन टू बी इक्वल टू फाइव द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एट बी वेक्टर वुड बी इक्वल टू एट मल्टीप्लाइड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी That will be eight into five. That is forty. Now, dear students, since eight is a positive number, the direction of the vector remains unchanged, which means that the vector eight b has a magnitude of forty units and is directed along east, which is the direction in which the vector b was aligned. Therefore, the correct answer for this question is option number two. Dear students, let us proceed to the next question, which is question number forty-two. Question number forty-two says: Consider the following two statements. Statement A: In uniform circular motion, acceleration is uniform. Statement B: A particle in motion can have zero displacement and non-zero distance traveled. The correct statement is: Dear students, let us analyze each statement itself. First statement A. Statement A says: In uniform circular motion, acceleration is uniform. This is an incorrect statement. because dear students in uniform circular motion the only acceleration that is there is the centripetal acceleration which is directed along the center the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration which is equal to v square by r is constant however the direction of this centripetal acceleration is variable as it is always aligned from the particle to the center and as the particle moves the direction changes as well this means that the acceleration is actually non uniform now let us analyze option or statement b statement b says a particle in motion can have zero displacement and non zero distance travel this is a correct statement one of the example is circular motion dear students in circular motion when the particle returns back to the same position from where it started then the displacement in such case would be zero however the distance would be non zero and hence the only statement correct is b and therefore option number 2 is the correct answer dear students let us proceed to the 43rd question question number 43 says from a plane flying horizontally with constant velocity a ball is dropped the path of the ball observed by the pilot will be neglect air resistance Dear students, let us try to visualize this problem. As per the problem, there is a plane from which a bomb is dropped, and the plane has a certain constant velocity v. As the bomb is dropped from the plane, it starts its motion with the velocity equal to the velocity of the plane itself. That is, the initial velocity of the bomb will be v. Now, dear students, the bomb will proceed and follow a trajectory as shown in the figure. it must be noted that the horizontal component of the velocity of the bomb would remain unchanged because the acceleration is only in the vertical direction therefore dear students along direction of motion of plane velocity of bomb with respect to plane is zero which means that the plane would observe that the bomb is falling vertically down and it will be always vertically below the plane and hence as per the pilot or the plane the bomb will follow a straight line path vertically downward which makes the option number 2 as a correct answer dear students let us proceed to the question number 44 question number 44 says for a particle moving in xy plane the coordinates vary with time as x is equal to 3t and y is equal to 4t plus 4 the equation of trajectory of the particle is now dear students as per the question x has been given us to be equal to 3t which means that t is equal to x by 3 also y is equal to 4t plus 4 substituting the value of t from this expression we can write y to be equal to 4 x by 3 plus 4 
more specifically y would be equal to 4x by 3 plus 4. So this is the equation of trajectory which is represented by the equation in option number 1 which is the correct answer. Dear students, let us proceed to the last question of the test which is question number 45. Question number 45 says two particles A and B are projected from ground with same speeds and at angles of projections 38 degree and 52 degree respectively with the horizontal. The horizontal range of motion will be greater for A, greater for B, same for A and B both, data insufficient. Dear students, we must know that if angles of projections theta 1 and theta 2 add up to 90 degree, then in those cases the range for both angles of projection would be same given that they are projected with the same speed. In the question, let us assume theta 1 has been given to be 38 degree and theta 2 has been given to be equal to 52 degree. It is clearly visible that theta 1 plus theta 2 that is 38 plus 52 is actually equal to 90 degree which means dear students that the ranges for both the motions would be same and hence option number 3 is the correct answer for question number 45. Dear students, this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of this test. I hope you understood all the solutions correctly. I wish you all the best for your endeavors and God bless you all. Thank you.